Alrighty, hello again, I am Blunty, welcome to the second part of my exploration of the PlayStation Vita. As you can see by the faint red glow there, I am charging up at the moment after uh, the previous video of unboxing it. So, let's press the button here. This is genuinely the first time I have ever turned it on, and it's not turning on. So, perhaps it hasn't charged up enough. Oh, no, there we go. So, we are both on this journey together to find out exactly what happens when it powers up for the very first time. New, 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 new. Yes, yes, I know who made the fucking thing. You don't need to put it on the screen. I'm not an idiot. It says it there, and it says it in the box, and it says it when I ordered it, and it's, it's called the Sony Fizz. Okay, so there we go. Oh, well, look, we can... Uh, I'm gonna. I'm trying to do this by looking through the viewfinder, so forgive me if I'm a little bit clumsier than usual. So, I guess we... Peel that back nice and elegantly. Yes, I'm bored already. Let's go. Okay, so the very first thing we do is, of course, select our language, which I can't apparently do with the thumb pad or the either of the sticks. So, do English, United Kingdom, or United States. So you can either have things pronounced or spelled correctly, or you can have them not spelled correctly. Let's have spelled correctly please so we go next and we're picking our time zone i'm in australia and sydney as a matter of fact so plus 10 gmt next select the date and time yes sir. so you set the date and time as you would expect to on any device and go next you can transfer data over a mobile network setting up to use the mobile network yeah, you probably won't be doing that actually because I'm not in Japan where you expect me to be with your Japanese SIM card in. And there is apparently no way to skip past this, so I may have to put a jump cut here while it tries to search the network. Nope, nope, what have you done? You must now set up for your use on the PlayStation Network. Yes, okay. Do you have a PlayStation Network? Well, not a Japanese one. And, uh, you do, you do. Trial use the PlayStation Network. Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to have to do this in... Where are we? Japan, because no other PSN store is actually open for the Vita at the moment. So I'm probably going to be faced with a lot of Japanese stuff I can't read. Ah, select a language. It's given me one language to select from, which is not what I read. Date of birth, okay. So I'm going to put a jump cut in here while I figure all this out because it's going to be boring to watch. But basically all the steps you would expect to set a birth date, set your name and your email and your password and blah, blah, blah. I'll be back in a moment, okay? Ah, well, as it turned out, after turning off the camera, it only wanted my birthday, presumably so it knew which naughty stuff I can or can't have because I am over 18. Because this is what it went straight to. Didn't ask me for the any of the other stuff. I, you know, live and learn. Ah, uh, here we go. An intro video which presumably is going to give me an idea of how to use it. Oh look, all the apps are flying into the screen and... Oh, there they are, and they're laying around. Oh, you swipe up and down to get to different pages of apps. How useful and informative and... Uh, <sighs> boring. Oh yes, you tap on that to start it. Who would have thought of that? I'm glad they put that in the video. I wouldn't have been able to figure that out myself. Run, look, you can do the thing where you point and hit the PlayStation button there and it goes back to the menus and you swipe left or right and do the thing and then you boot up the camera and the camera app launches, believe it or not. Really, you have to tell people this? You have to tell people to swipe through their pictures and do things that we've been doing for, I don't know, like four or five years now on every touchscreen device that we own? Oh, well, we can peel stuff away to turn to uh, turn it off, I guess. And you don't want something to run. That's useful information to have, but yeah, all kinds of boring. So here we go. No signal. My Bluetooth turned on. We're going home. With your PlayStation system, you can transfer data over a mobile network. Yeah, you got to try that again, are you? Didn't you just try that? You failed. You're not going to find the signal because I'm literally thousands of miles away from where the signal is that you're looking for. You won't find the Docomo network here. And for those wondering, the reason I bought the 3G one where I wasn't going to be able to use the local 3 Japan 3G is, um, well, because the price difference wasn't that much, and who knows, it may get um, unlocked or hacked or somewhere that I can use my Australian one. Yeah, why not? 
This is the home screen. The home screen is where you start applications. Welcome Park is the starting point for your PlayStation Vita system experience. Tap the Welcome Park icon to start the application and the screen dimmed because I wasn't doing anything. Fine. So yeah, that's the setup. From here on in, you do the stuff you expect to be doing. So, I don't know. yes, well, anyway, that's what the setup is like. As you can see, quick and easy, and you can select the English language right off the bat. So, if you're thinking about importing one from Japan and not waiting the two months until they're available everywhere else, it's going to be easy peasy for you. All the menus, all the instructions, all the hints, all in the language that you chose. And you can flick about and do the thing. And when we come back in the next video, we're going to look at the interface itself. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.